Hello, I'm going to be showing you how to use Stable Diffusion to generate images from text. You'll either need an AMD or NVIDIA GPU. I linked two Git repos in the description depending on your GPU. The Stable Diffusion Docker supports NVIDIA, but if you use an AMD card, doing machine learning stuff can be kind of difficult. Luckily, I was able to get it working and I created the Stable Diffusion Docker fork that supports AMD. After you clone it, you'll need a CD into it. We'll need to download the Stable Diffusion model from Hugging Face. This will be done automatically, but we need to put an access key from Hugging Face into the token.txt file in this directory. If you go to Hugging Face and then Settings Tokens, copy this token into that token.txt file. After that's done, we'll need to run build.sh, build as the command, and this will pull several Docker images and download several tens of gigabytes of data. Now we can actually run it. Let's give it a simple prompt to do that. We could just do slash build.sh run, and then we can give it options. In this case, we'll just give it a prompt to generate. Let's see what this will generate. The prompt is Andromeda Galaxy in a bottle. This will take a while to run, so I'll come back to you later. And this is the result that we get from that command. There's many options that we can use. The one that we just did was text to image, but there's also image to image. This creates an image from an existing image. So for example, let's say you have this image and you say a fantasy landscape trending on art station, then it will generate this new image that has those little touches. There's also depth guided diffusion, and this modifies an image that is a depth map with a text prompt. So you can see you have an image, a depth map, and then you can generate images from those two. To do that, you just have to change the model to this depth model. There's pix to pix, which modifies an image with a text prompt. So here you can see like swap sunflowers with roses, and it does that, or add fireworks to the sky, and it does that. There's upscaling an image with this model, and here you can see there's this original model, and then this is the upscaled version. There's diffusion and painting. This will modify part of an image. So here, let's say you have this image, you give it a mask, and then say like, replace the dog with a cat, and it'll do that. Let's go ahead and try one of them. I'll do the image to image. Here I pass in the previous image that we generated and I say add a city in the background. This is what that generates. It's not uh, perfect, so normally you'll have to do several runs until you get it right. And it will randomly generate these images with new seeds each time, so you'll just have to play around with it until it gets it right. So let's look at some other options. There's this model option, which is the things that we were just looking at, but there's other models than doing customizations, models to actually change the style of the art. So for example, something like Open Journey or, or several versions of Stable Diffusion. Let's give that a try, saying the model is Prompt Hero Open Journey, and this is what that generates. So you can see that it's in a bit of a different art style. So there's things like iters, which specifies how many times it wants to run through this whole process. So the default is one, so only do it one time to run through the pipeline. Samples is how many images you want to generate. Like in our previous case where it didn't work out, we probably wanted to have generated like 10 images, and maybe a few of them would have been the ones that we wanted. Scale, like it just says it. The magnitude of how close you want the image to the prompt. The scheduler, this allows you to customize the look of the image. So there's many schedulers. I can link this Hugging Face article, but basically it'll allow you to use the same model like Open Journey, but customize the look of the model. So you can see these are using the same model, but can look slightly different. If you pass it the same seed, then it'll generate the same image, but if it's no seed, then it'll just generate random images. The steps is how many times you want it to process the image. So the lower amount of steps, the more unprocessed the look will have. So for example, if we run our first image that we generated with steps and five, same prompt, this is what we get. You can see that it's not processed enough. It hasn't gone as many steps as it needs. And it just looks like a grainy image of a galaxy. There's these other options, like you might need to specify mask depending on which model you use, or if you're putting in an image for the model to work with. You can also do some performance tweaks with saying use float 16 instead of float 32 to decrease the memory or use 
Onyx for performance gains. There's Skip, which will turn the safety checker off if you don't want to not look at bad images. And the final thing I'll mention is you put your input images in this input folder in your, and the output folder contains all of the images that Stable Diffusion will generate. Thank you for watching. This was a overview of Stable Diffusion and how to use it in Docker. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you for watching.